your hands in the air What up doc, or should I say hello nurse Since the tiny tune never's been below third I bet you can't see me from the outside. Hello guys, welcome to another video of Mertz Benz King. As you can see, I'm sitting here in this lovely interior. Carbon. Beautiful leather seats. Temperature adjustments for in the rear. Microphone so that passengers can hear you. It is very spacey. But I bet you can't see me from the outside. So let's go. So guys, welcome to another video of Mertz Benz King. As you can see, today I've got the Mercedes V-Class. This one is the long version, so it's about 5 meters and 14 centimeters long. Uh, there's also an extra long version which is about 5 meters and 35 centimeters. Amazing exterior. As you can see from the bumpers, it has the AMG package, uh, AMG rims, also the side skirts from AMG, uh, from the AMG package. And with this color, the white color, it just looks amazing. So as you might have seen, it has an amazing interior. So this car is meant for a lot of people, uh, first for example the business people, uh, you can have me meetings as you saw in the back seats, it's also good for big families so uh, you can fit uh, six people uh, with no problem, you have a lot of space, a lot of headroom, like a half meter headroom and, and the most important thing is that it just looks gorgeous, especially with, the, with these black tinted windows. It's not just a van and that is what Mercedes also uh, tried to achieve and they, in my, in my opinion, they succeeded. Uh, this car has a lot of options. It comes uh, very close to the options of the S-Class, C-Class and E-Class. You can see from the interior that it has the new Mercedes-Benz design, uh, like in the C-Class, E-Class. The air vents are the same, uh, the steering wheel, the dash and also the Mercedes infotainment system. So let's take a quick walk around the car. Beautiful front with AMG package. Nice AMG bumpers. Especially from the side you can see that it is that it is a very long vehicle. As I said, 5 meters and 14 centimeters. So let's have a look inside. You can press this button. This is the white door. So let's have a look at the rear. This is the key. If you press and hold this button for a second, and the door will open. So I've set these seats. So you, the people who sit inside have to face each other, but you can also just uh, turn the seats and everybody will face the front. Interior buttons to open the door and also a button on the side. You can walk all the way from the boot to the front. 
So guys, let's go for a drive. This one doesn't have the push start button, but uh, it, it is an option, so you can of course get it. So of course you sit higher than other cars, for example this BMW 7 series. Uh, but I think it's, an, uh, it's a positive thing because you can see over the cars, so you can see what is going on in front of you. So I'm currently in Apeldoorn uh, and I have, to, I have to go to Rotterdam, it's about a uh, two hour drive. So you can see this beautiful interior with carbon materials. Uh, this car is the V-Class 250 diesel. It has a 190 horsepower. And I have to say it is pretty uh, fast, especially for this uh, weight of the car, 2000 kilograms. Amazing interior, uh, this is the same steering wheel as, as in the C-Class, also these vents from the C-Class, but they all have kind of the, kind of the same design, the S-Class, C-Class, E-Class. This is the infotainment system, uh, you have this uh, screen right here, I think it's, it looks uh, pretty, pretty nice. Leather everywhere, leather stitching, as I told you, you sit higher than other cars. Mercedes-Benz really made it comfortable, uh, luxurious from the inside. You can fit uh, six people inside here. You have a lot of space. And also it's not uh, that slow. It is pretty fast for what it weighs. Normally you would have this uh, gear changer here, but it's completely free. You have a lot of space here. Some storage space, cup holders at the sides also. Yeah, so it feels comfortable. It's now on the temperature, uh, with this you can change the temperature. If you press up to increase, down to decrease. They have to be the same of course. Okay. The air distribution, it's set on automatic. Air quantity. So you have a lot of options uh, to choose for the events. As you can see, when I go a little bit over the line, the steering wheel vibrates because it has the lane attention assist, um, lane, lane keeping assist. Uh, so it warns me that I'm going over the lane and also pushes the car back in, in between the lanes. So let's take a small break. I really feel like a boss when I'm coming with this car. This is the 360 degrees camera. Here you see the bird view, the backup camera. There's also a button right here on the left side. So if I press the 360, this is the front camera in the 180 degrees. Here you can see the front of the car from above. Bird view. The side of the car from the uh, side mirrors to the front. And here from the side mirrors to the back. To the rear. This is the rear camera looking down. Here you can see the rear of the car from above. The rear camera in 180 degrees. And that's it. So guys, I have still 87 kilometers to go. 
So I think I will be there at 5. So I used about 8 liters per 100 kilometers, a city and the highway, highway combined. So guys, thanks for watching, Murat Spansky. Stay tuned for other videos and uh, just have another look at this car. Next to a old Escas from Bulgaria. Dirty. <laughs> Again, guys, thanks for watching Murts Benz King. And stay tuned for the next videos, they will be about the parking system of the V-Class and some more things I discovered about this MPV.